Hi, my name is Sarah Cross and I'm a PhD student at the University of Canterbury in New Zealand. My supervisor, Jimena Nelson, and I have co-authored a paper recently published in Methods in Ecology and Evolution entitled A Portable, Low-Cost Remote Videography System for Monitoring Wildlife. In the paper, we describe a system that we have developed in order to record the nesting behavior of the New Zealand falcon. As part of a larger study investigating the efficacy of translocating falcons from their natural habitat in New Zealand's high country and into the vineyards of Marlborough, we wanted to be able to determine if falcons living in the two different habitats were behaving differently from one another. One way to do this was to carefully observe the nesting behavior of falcons living in the high country and the nesting behavior of falcons living in the vineyards. Our study species presents a number of challenges when it comes to nest observations. New Zealand's high country is really difficult to access, and even during the summer months, it can present harsh weather conditions. So the camera system needed to be easily transportable by foot, as well as able to withstand extreme cold, heat, rain, and wind. Not only is the falcon a nationally threatened species, but it is also one of the world's most aggressive birds of prey. So for both the sake of the falcons and for the sake of our own scalps, we required a system that could be left in the field for as long as possible in between maintenance visits. So, using the basic principles of a remote videography system currently used by the New Zealand Department of Conservation to monitor species of concern, we developed a design that could be used to meet our own requirements. And this is it. The system consists of a color waterproof camera outfitted with infrared LEDs. box and all of that is run by a deep cell gel battery which ensures that we don't have corrosive acids leaked on us while we're transporting the system um, and then the battery is supplemented with a small solar panel so this is the entire system that gets put into the field in total it weighs about 15 kilograms and it's quite easy to transport in a single 50 liter um, hiking backpack Inside the recording station is a digital video recorder, or DVR. We used a mini portable DVR that was able to record compressed but still highly detailed digital video onto secure digital high capacity cards. The recorder also allowed us to set the frame rate and to have the option of recording either with motion detection or continuously. This ability to use motion detection and the combination of the battery size we chose, the use of the solar panel, and the ability to record compressed video allowed us to leave the system in the field for four days at a time in between maintenance visits. In total, the camera system cost only 862 US dollars to construct, making it far less expensive than most commercially available systems. We were very happy with the quality of the footage the systems could record as well as with the capabilities of the systems in the field. We were interested in recording incubation and brooding both during the day and night. And as you can see here, both day and night footage are of good quality. On top of that, the falcons did not appear to be disturbed by the presence of the cameras. We were also interested in recording feeding rates and prey choice. And with this system, we were able to get really good shots of almost all of the prey items brought into the nest. In our first season, we were able to record a common gecko being brought into one nest, which is a new prey item for the falcon. The video footage also allowed us to quantify the development of juvenile behaviors. And on top of using this video for our own research, we have made it available to conservation organizations who have used it in their education and advocacy programs. In our first season, we had a nest that was predated. A single feral cat killed all three chicks in this nest over two nights, and we were able to identify that individual cat because of a notch in its ear. This footage not only provided insights into the lack of defenses that falcon chicks have against feral cats, but it has been used for education in schools as well as shown on national television in New Zealand to aid in conservation initiatives. As an affordable and customizable remote videography system, 
our design can be implemented across a variety of taxa and in a range of field conditions at adequate sample sizes. This system is ideal for researchers in any field needing to obtain detailed information on the behavior of rare or inaccessible species with minimal disturbance to the focal individuals. Continued use of remote videography in the field of wildlife management will inevitably lead to further discoveries of new behavior, while the ease of dissemination of digital video will aid in conservation initiatives and education.